us discuss about our concurrent hash map okay this is an important one so here multiple threads are allowed to operate on concurrent hash map object how it is possible because when we discussed about hash table and synchronized map then there it was taking a lock on a complete object whereas in concurrent hash map it is taking a lock at a bucket level or segment level that is we have discussed that our map is having an array of buckets right so this is my first bucket or segment this is my second segment this is my third segment and this is my fourth segment so when we are performing a read operation then it's fine multiple threads can read different buckets at the same time it is not taking any lock and when we are performing any update operation then in that case what is actually happening so that we will discuss by the help of one another diagram okay so let me quickly tell you that it is a bit fast in comparison to hash table and synchronized map why because here multiple threads are allowed to perform read operation okay and also the update operation okay so here my first thread is working in the first segment second thread is operating in the second segment it is updating it okay and multiple threads are performing the read operations now if the third thread which is trying to operate on the first segment then only it needs to wait so here we are not taking the lock on a complete object but we are taking lock at the segment level okay and here it is thread safe it is having fast performance and similar to hash table here also null key and null value is not allowed okay great so guys i hope that till this point it is clear to you right now let me share one more diagram with you and let us try to understand that what we have discussed about our concurrent hash okay so this we have already discussed that our concurrent hash map is having an array of buckets right or array of segments and each segment or bucket can have linked list okay so if we talk about one node then our node consists of key right it consists of key it consists of value and it also consists of next pointer which is actually pointing the next node right it is having the address of the next node great so here in this diagram you can see that we are having an concurrent hash map and it consists of different entries right so we have different entries here in different segments and here you can see that in one segment we are having an list okay that is we have multiple entries in a single segment it is also possible in hash map i hope that you already have a better understanding on working of hash map if not then you can watch tutorial on the channel okay it is already available for you guys so here in concurrent hash map we are taking lock at a segment level okay we are not taking lock on a complete object but we are taking lock at a segment level so if we talk about read operation then multiple threads can perform the read operation at a same time great it can be used in a multi threaded environment and if we talk about the update operation then suppose i am updating this particular key okay i am updating the key which is having value as 35 and i want to update its value as 90 how i can do that i can use the put method okay and i can update it so it will take lock only on this segment 4 and other segments are still allowed so another thread maybe t2 thread can come and it can operate on segment second another t3 thread can come and it perform operation on segment 3 that is also possible in concurrent hash map so i hope that with this diagram it is clear to you guys right about the internal working of concurrent hash map and how it is different from hash map hash table and synchronized map if you are having any doubts then without hesitating you can ask me your doubts and your queries in comment section